Hello, I'm Robert Vaassen, energy engineer, and today in uh, video number 20, we will talk about this air water heat pump, also called uh, swimming pool heat pump in this case, and we will see how we can use it in a complete way with the cold and with the hot side. Look to this video until the end because at the end there will be a challenge for you. So now we have to decide how we will use the cold and also the hot side. Now the cold side is not a problem because it is summer. Now in this moment it's uh, 30 degrees here on 850 meters above sea level in Sicily on Mount Etna. So and the heat can also be interesting as you saw. We can use it for the dishwasher, for the washing machine, but also of course for the showers. But all those domestic appliances they take the water from the cold tap. Then we have to put the warm water of the heat pump into the cold grid of the house. But anyway, who is interested in cold water from the cold tap? Why is it so bad if it is, for example, 30 degrees? It's only good for your hands, or at least less harmful. What really is the point here is that we want cold water into our heat pump in such a way that we can run it at a high efficiency. Now let me know in the comments what you think about the uses of heat and cold. Uh, how do you use uh, the cold? Okay, uh, the cold. So now let's look how we implement that. This heat pump has been designed to heat up a swimming pool. So that means it has uh, the warm circuit, it is a water circuit. Other circuits, so on the cold side, it is cold air. And heat uh, which is taken from this air is going into the water. Now, as I said uh, before, if you can take cold water, then the temperature difference between this cold water and the temperature of the air, uh, which must also be cold, will be much smaller than is between the air conditioner, between the cold air uh, in, the, in the living room and the hot air on the street. So that means uh, the heat pump in this case will have uh, an easier job and it will reward you with more efficiency. Now the heat pump must be placed inside the house and uh, that's because uh, it's too difficult to transport cold air. Water is much easier. So what do you do? You put it in the, in the living room uh, but then it might be too noisy and so you need their solution. Well, I um, will uh, deal with that. Okay, that's the air circuit and now the water circuit so the warm side and there you can do two things one thing is that you just uh, let in the cold water from the public grid which is more or less at uh, 15 uh, to 20 degrees and then that is uh, so cold that will uh, give you this high efficiency of the heat pump but then you have the problem that you don't know uh, when you consume this uh, cold water because you need a flow otherwise he cannot work. So what is then there? The solution is that you uh, bring this uh, cold water into a tank and uh, in Italy there are many houses with uh, tanks uh, from, of uh, 500 liter or 1000 uh, liter and that's because there is uh, security of supply and that is a problem in many houses. Uh, let's say you have this water supply, this uh, water tank where the cold water is uh, uh, going in and then you can take this water uh, go send it into a heat pump and then go back and then you can circulate it so that means that you can take the heat and you can create a flow inside the water side of the heat pump when you need cold in your house so that's flexibility but in that case you will have tepid water in your cold water grid in the house and I think for me it would not be a problem because if I, if I wash my hands or I do anything then uh, it's for me only nice to have uh, water of uh, let's say 30 degrees the only thing is that you have to consume it uh, rather quickly in a few days because otherwise you will get 
uh, problems with the hygiene. Well, as you see, in our case, we have uh, more flexibility because we have two containers for the water supply and uh, we can use one tank with this uh, heat pump and the other which uh, stays cold and then we can choose which, uh, which we use. Okay, now I will show you all the experiments which I did with this uh, heat pump and uh, of course I wrote all the values like uh, the temperatures and the power uh, that's during one and a half hour and uh, I produced also during that 90 minutes uh, this uh, quarter liter of uh, water, distilled water. You can use it for the iron or maybe for the car, I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, water which has been in the air. And that's of course also uh, an advantage of this uh, heat pump because it will uh, make the air uh, more comfortable. So we did uh, the experiments and it uh, functioned uh, well. Apart from this uh, quarter liter of uh, water which we produced, we had also an, a nice cool living room uh, we, where the air was also less humid. And uh, every quarter of an hour the tank uh, of uh, 400 liter was raised by one degree. I gave of course a lot of uh, options uh, what you can do uh, with the cold water. You take it directly, you put it in a tank. Uh, you put uh, the heat pump uh, inside or outside, so it might be overwhelming. But uh, you have just to see what uh, you want, uh, what is uh, feasible in your home, uh, what are the advantages and the disadvantages, and you have then to choose, as always. The scope of my video is that I give you this choice, because otherwise, if you just buy what's available, okay, it can be practical, but sometimes you want to be in between the choices which uh, society gives you. And if you don't come out of uh, this, uh, this freedom of choice, well, then you write in the comments and I can help you. And now is uh, the challenge. So I give you the task to write in the comments what you would do with this uh, heat pump, which uh, makes a noise in your living room, what you would do to deal with it. And also, how would you organize the water circuit for this uh, for this heat pump in the rest of the house. I will wait until I have 10 answers and then at number 10 I will write there under what, uh, what I think of it. it will, I will very honestly say if I thought about it or it is really uh, a new idea from your side and I am really curious about what comes out of this challenge. Now by the way uh, I mentioned my friend uh, who wants to make a cellar for the fruit in his house. We have the same idea here. We have a cellar. We have a piece of, of land uh, higher up the mountain uh, where we have uh, pears, uh, apples and also other fruit. And then uh, at the harvest we have the, the problem or to sell it right away or to keep it. But then we have to, to keep it at a low temperature. So this is uh, the ideal solution to cool such a room. And to help you a little bit with the challenge, the noise in the fruit cellar is not a problem. So I hope uh, that uh, you like uh, these ideas and that you will participate in the, in the challenge. And uh, if you like this uh, video, then please uh, put your thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to it so that I can go on uh, to, uh, to bring you n new ideas and to make you more independent material from the energy infrastructure and keep the costs down. I wish you good energy.